What's going on guys? It's me here today, Colin, and this is an episode of Cooking with Colin. Let's get into it. Good old fashioned, good old fashioned burger. Got, cannot go wrong with a, with a beef patty. Let's get these ingredients. Buns. Cheese. Lettuce. Gotta stay healthy. Tomato. Ketchup. This jar is fucked. Mayonnaise. Alright, which one do we choose? Yeah, you already know. This one. We got our ingredients right here. We got our burgers, our cheese, our, our buns, our tomatoes, our condiments, and our lettuce. So, let's get to cooking this. Let's get to cooking this delicious burger. And um, yeah, I'll see you over at the, uh, the, the cooking area. So this is where we're gonna be cooking our burger. If you don't know what this is, it's called a stove. This is called a stove. And um, this is where all the magic happens. Now, I do have a cast iron skillet right here, but as you can see, it's a little bit dirty. So we're not gonna use that, even though I probably should. What we're gonna use instead. is a normal good old pan. First what you want to do, you gotta set that pan to a, an amount of degrees, right? You gotta set it to at least medium and get yourself some, some space for that burger to cook. So, as we wait for the pan to heat up, let's get ourselves a burger out of its packaging. So apparently this is going to be the hardest part to do because you know how burgers are. They're always stuck if you get them pre-made. And no, I'm not making my own burger. A, because I can't drive to the store. B, because I have no money. And C, because I don't feel like it. So let's just use some of what we have here. We'll work with what we have. Okay. Look at that burger. It's, it's fucking bent in half. There we go. The next step should be fairly easy. Take your burger, and it starts to cook just like that. Spatula. As you can see, this burger is nice and, and like not really cooked yet, but it's being nice and cooked on this good old pan here. We're gonna, oh no. Flip this bad boy over. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna turn on some more lighting. There we go. Tell me in the comments, guys, how do you like your burgers? Do you like them raw or do you like them cooked? So, we got our burger cooking. We're going to season it a little bit. We got some seasoning salt right here. We got some um, pepper. I don't know how to season shit, so this is just going to be kind of guessing. Just seeing what might taste good. Um, let's scroll through our options of condiments or spices. Not Get some smoked paprika, we'll use that. Let's, let's get a little bit of paprika on that burger. Oh yeah. Put a little bit of black pepper on there. I like some pepper on my stuff, so I might as well. You know, might as well do that. Some seasoning salt. This shit is so good. If you don't use this, you don't make burgers. Because this shit is delicious. Ooh, put a lot of that on there. Really brings out that flavor. The burger is starting to juice. There's juice coming out of it. There's some, a little bit of oil and liquid. Ooh! Oh, I got spices all over the end of the fucking thing now. Looks like a crime scene. Alright. I think it's time to flip this bad boy over. We'll add some more of that seasoning salt on. Oof. 
Might be, might have been a little too much. Some of that paprika. Not too much. Not too much. Fancy bit more black pepper. Pop that on there real quick. Oh yeah. Now this is a fucking burger. Whoa! Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Let's get ourselves out a bun. Gotta keep an eye on that burger. I don't care where the condiments go on a burger. I just put them on whatever I want. If you don't like mayonnaise on your burger, who are you? I need a lot of mayonnaise on my burger. What can I say? I love mayonnaise. Cooking with Jack style. Let's get some ketchup on there. Get this uh, veggie ketchup my parents bought. Turn off that pan for now, just in case. Some veggie ketchup here. Don't want too much of that. Too healthy for me. Some mustard. Here we go. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, condiments have been added. We're gonna throw on some uh, some leeks. Oh shit! I forgot to put the cheese in the burger. No. Come on. Where is it at? Get it. Personal favorite kind of cheese. Havarti cheese. And then we take the lid. Put that on low so it can cook. And we wait. Next, we need ourselves a little bit of a tomato. Now, I'm not a huge fan of tomatoes, but I am putting it on a burger because putting it on this burger because, you know, everyone loves tomatoes on their burgers, I guess. Um, me? Guys. Get that shit out of there! Fucking moldy ass tomatoes. Didn't even didn't even want it anyways. Let's check on the burger. Oh yeah. That's the good shit there. Alright. Rep toast the bun. I wanted to toast the bun, but I guess I'm not doing that. Look at that. Mmm. Quite delicious if I do say so myself. Alright. The dogs are over there. Okay. No fries, sadly. Was not about to cook some fries for a video that's probably only gonna take me like couple minutes to make. Don't have a drink with me. Because all I have is water and milk. But here's the burger. Fresh off the pan. With that nice melted... With that nice cheese. Did I do a good job? Did I do a shitty job? We'll find out. It's all right. I would give this burger like a solid 7.5 out of 10. Maybe even an eight. I made myself a burger and didn't burn down the house. Yeah, there, there's, there's the burger. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. 
Um, if you want to see cooking with kale, cooking with Thai, DM them on Twitter and scream at them, tell them to, to make a video of them cooking and upload it to this channel. We made a burger. Please, please subscribe. Please. Please. Yeah. Do you want this? It tastes like shit. I want to be a kind young fellow and treat my dogs to a little, a little snack. Zoe, that's for you. Jet, that's for you. Got to give them a little bit of that treat. Jet did not like the burger. Zoe seems to have liked the burger. Do you like it, Zoe? You like it? I'll take that as a yes. <laughs>